Introduction to day game. We're going to cover a few key aspects of day game in this short video. Including my pet squirrel here because she's not in her cage right now, so the cage is noisy, so never mind her. She'll be jumping around. Flying squirrel, mind you. <laughs> Crawling up Tripp's leg. <laughs> Alright, one, one key aspect I'm demonstrating right now because I'm out of the camera shot is the woman's personal space. The woman's personal space. Need to maintain that at first. A second key aspect, sorry. That's usually two to three feet. He's a little further. <laughs> the second key aspect is confidence. You, the man, need to display confidence. Have it radiating from you. One way to do that is by your eye contact. You have to have good eye contact with her. When she looks at you, don't look away. Now, I'm going to step closer into her personal space, get it into this camera shot. I'm closing the personal space a little. It's about where you need to start. Right where he's standing. I've got the eye contact. I'm not looking in that direction, that direction. I'm focused on her. She's looking at me. It's good back and forth. That's what it needs to be. She's not intimidating me. I'm not overbearing on her. Okay? It, there's a, a balance there. Now, we'll start closing this gap a little bit more as the comfort level raises up for day game. We'll look at Kino, back of the hand, eventually palm of the hand, start with the back. We'll look at places you can start forearm, upper arm. If she's sitting, leg, she's kind of playful slap. Shoulder, upper back. Later, when she's more comfortable, small of the back. And if she's comfortable hitting you already, then that's a good sign. And then that always return the favor. Start hit her back. Right. Definitely an open invitation to hit her back. And see, and that also means that the, the comfort zone, the personal space, is closing up that much more. You just realize you don't want to just slam yourself into her because that's going to creep her out. Mm, yep. But you ease, you ease up to her, and that space just naturally closes up. Okay? So, there goes our flying squirrel again. That can help you to, to close the personal space, by the way. <laughs> Bring it a little tighter. <laughs> so we've got the confidence. You're still maintaining the confidence. In fact, the closer you get, the eye contact is still there. Okay? Even when, especially when you're touching. Playing around, eye contact's still there. Smile's there. You know, you'll have all the signs, playing with the hair, everything else. The squirrel crawling crawl down the shirt. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> he likes it down there. <laughs> you got the touching going on. The, the whole interaction is progressing. Alright? It's all progressing. You're, you're not intruding on her. She's wel welcoming you in. Okay? You're not sending off the creepy vibe. Because as soon as you do that, it's done. You don't want to do this. Yeah, that creepy up. You don't want to do that. She's liable to go back up real quick, and you don't want to keep yeah. following her. You you want to stay back here. Okay. If you're getting her personal space, you'll not, because she'll start kind of leaning backwards or stepping back or walking backwards or something. Exactly. Even if you're this close, there's some girls that you know you get this close to them, and they start backing up. A guy can be this close, and next thing you know, you see the girl leaning back, and as soon as you see her doing that, back up. Because you're too close for her comfort. So as soon as you see that from the girl, back up. Watch the body language. You know, if she's leaning closer to you, you might want to inch a little closer to her, because she's inviting you in. It's all about the body language. And she's got to 
feel that comfort from you. You got to be confident enough about yourself to where she can start feeling that comfort from you. All right. It all plays in together. And then eventually we get to the palm of the hand as you two start playing around, start getting the vibe going. Palm of the hand and knee, playing around with her. Might hit the palm of the hand up here. You know, I don't just leave it there for five minutes while I'm talking, which I've seen guys do. And, it just, and the girl's just like, why is his hand still there? No more than three seconds. Yeah. He just, you know, he, that's it. Until she gets more used to you, do it again. And the more you touch her, the more she, the more she is willing to let you touch her. And as you're using your palm more, then you can move further down, like to the small of her back, because she's more used to it. She's going to accept it more. It's all part of that escalation thing that we talk so much about. So eventually, since it is day game, and you're not spending two or three hours in a club, eventually, within five minutes maybe, you don't want to keep monopolizing her time and you, hopefully, are a busy guy. Yeah, you need to be important. <laughs> and she needs to know this. She needs to know this. You don't have all You're day just to... man. You don't have all day just to <laughs> sit around, oh, hey, honey, I've just got all day, you know, we're just kicking back. Uh-uh. No. Nothing better to do. No time. <laughs> nope. I don't care if your day is free, you're off work, whatever. You're uh -uh. busy. You got places to go. Peace. So in a few minutes' time, the vibe's going. You're enjoying each other. She's smiling. She's, you know, she's open to you. She's you see that in your she's head? hitting you back. She yeah, the keno's going around. both ways. Keno Pinya, quit pushing me, girl. <laughs> Started it. <laughs> you're joking. You're laughing with each other. You whip out your phone. You number close. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can go for a kiss close during the day, depending on where you're at. Coffee shop, you know. Wouldn't necessarily suggest it. Bookstore, eh. You know, park, yeah. Okay, that could work. Depending on where you're at. But definitely go for the number close. Just whip out your phone. Yes, I'm going to say it. Slip your digits in. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> say, why don't you put your number in there? You seem pretty cool. <laughs> Sometimes, or I text you, send you a text. See, you can take that suggestion, or mine. <laughs> Whichever one you think you can roll with. <laughs> so you get her number, you, you know, she's putting it in. You can put it in, she can put it in. I usually have her put it in. Either way, you go. You get her number, it's put in, it's saved in your phone, shoot her a quick text. Me, I'll even say, hey, do you text? I just do it casually. Yep, yep. And most of the time the girl, I even have girls tell me, I'd rather text and get on the phone. I say, cool. So I send her a quick text, say, hey, cool to meet you. Send it right to her. She gets it on her phone. I realize it's there. She gets the text. She's, that you texting me? Yep. And right, you know you I, got a right number. Exactly. And she's got yours. You just, you just test it, you know, make sure. So it's all set up. You don't hang around. You're out because you're busy. She's busy. You've interrupted her, but she's giving you the time because your value at this point is up here. You don't want to lower it. You want to keep it up here. So you got to go. You've already got the whole exchange. you got her number. She's got yours. Sorry, got to run. Got to do something. Exactly. Come up with something. You know what's been cool? You know? Uh, you can respond to me later. I've got to head out. I've got to run real fast. You take off. Check you later. <laughs> don't say that either. <laughs> no, don't say check you later. <laughs> no. <laughs> had to. Sorry. Had to. <laughs> Alright, you, you've got all that. It's all situated. So... You're done. The interaction's done. It's going good. You're leaving her on a high note. Which is what we should always do. Leaving her on a high note. 
your value is still up here in her mind. She's actually, hopefully, thinking good about you when you're gone. So when you do contact her later, or since she's got your number, she might actually initiate contact with you later, which is a good thing. But if she doesn't and you contact her later, she's more likely to respond. And be looking forward to it. And that way, she'll want to meet up with you later, which is what you want, right? Have fun with it.